So I've been using MacBooks for over 10 years. I never once had a Windows PC laptop. And in this video, a lifelong MacBook user switches to Windows PC. This is the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7X. Now, when I took this out the box for the first time, it screams MacBook, especially its midnight color. Reminds me of the MacBook Air, which this is a beautiful color. I love midnight blue, or in this case, cosmetic blue, but it is a fingerprint matic. But one thing that I find awesome, you do have Face ID. And in terms of the I.O., all type C, which I do love. I am gonna miss MagSafe. I didn't even bring my MacBook at all. See, look, so this is what I mean. If I trip on the cable, that's it. This is gonna be moving along with it. There is no headphone jack, and it's not a deal breaker, but come on, even the MacBook has a headphone jack. But what's interesting, you have the power switch on the side, and you have a privacy shield for the webcam to cover it up without putting tape on it. That's something that's new for me. It is nice to be able to cover your webcam. Apple is so confident with their security that they don't even need any kind of switches to cover the webcam. And even opening up the machine, it doesn't wobble. You open it up, you don't have to hold it from the bottom. Everything just opens nice and smooth. Perfect way to really test out any kind of laptop or tech is traveling. I took this with me to Arizona, just a quick little getaway. And this pretty much exceeded my expectations with flying colors, emails, I browse the web, I watch YouTube videos. And I didn't do any kind of editing just because the lack of Final Cut Pro is. All right guys, so I'm here in sunny Arizona. Well, not necessarily sunny, it's nighttime. I gotta say on the plane, I barely had any Wi-Fi. This was extremely light. It didn't take up too much space inside my backpack and actually matches well with my backpack. OLED, you could definitely see the OLED performing well. And even looking at the laptop itself, you could fold it all the way back like this. It could go this far back. The MacBooks can never. The only thing is you cannot detach the screen. It's not like you can lift the screen and turn it into an iPad or anything. Now Windows Hello might not be the most secure way, but it is super convenient to be able to just open up your laptop. It already unlocks it for you. Come on, Apple. It is time to put Face ID on the MacBooks. We have a notch, give us Face ID. I mean, why not? And I noticed you have that McAfee too, brings back memories. To be able to tap on your apps that you wanna open up is so much more intuitive opposed to using your mouse all the time. If you're laying down in bed, you wanna to touch the screen. You wanna be able to interact with it. Even in Lightroom, moving the sliders with your fingers is so much more intuitive. The display is gorgeous. You have that OLED display. So you have inky blacks, vibrant colors and it definitely screams. You, you're definitely gonna love this display for watching movies, HDR content. I noticed the speakers, they're okay. Pales in comparison compared to my 16 inch MacBook. You can be able to tap on the video to play pause. Stuff like that, I appreciate. I love that. The typing experience is solid, but the backlight keys, you could definitely see the bleed if you're in a certain position angle. But when you compare it to a MacBook, each individual key is lit, so you're not even gonna see the bleedage underneath the keys. I see myself typing an essay for hours on this. It, it feels good to type on. Now the trackpad, on the other hand, is no MacBook. You have the classic dive board system. It's gonna be easier to click on the bottom portion opposed to the top. Top is gonna be a little bit more harder to click. I don't know why Windows, they just don't copy Apple in this department. MacBooks make one of the best trackpads. There's no denying. The trackpad is a world of difference on the MacBook. But in terms of performance, this is really where the star of the show really comes in. This is featuring the Snapdragon X Elite and Snapdragon did it again. I like the fact how Snapdragon is making their own computer chipsets. 
Gone are the days of Intel and AMD. They still around, of course. Having this amount of power on a laptop, it makes the most sense. It's gonna bring efficiency, that power, and of course, the battery. Don't sleep on the Windows laptop, guys. They, they keep it up too. And it definitely packs a punch. It's equivalent to an M3. So this is bringing the perfect comparison between this versus a MacBook Air. And I gotta say, performance-wise, if I open up the same app at the same time, which is two totally different operating systems and all, but it's they both fast. It's really, at this point of the game, it comes down to Mac OS versus Windows, which I'm not gonna turn that into this video. But side-by-side -side comparison, comparing Mac OS to Windows, I'm not gonna turn it into one of those videos. You know what you like. And of course, it wouldn't be Windows without some sort of update. So I do got to update my machine soon. Um, and that's another thing too, when I'm coming from Mac OS, Mac OS is not as frequent updates. Of course, you have security patches and some uh, feature updates too as well, but nowhere to the scale of Windows. I got to say the battery life is surprisingly well on this laptop. I mean, right out the gate, the standby. Now, Windows isn't really known for its excellent battery life. That always goes to the MacBook, but in this comparison here, between the MacBook and the Lenovo Yoga 7X Slim, I'm butchering the name, the battery life is surprisingly well. I'd never heard a fan, not once. Uh-oh, I'm hearing the fans. Hear that? Uh oh, I'm hearing the fans. I'm hearing the fans. Now, I am installing some games, but to give some credit, it isn't loud and it's actually slowing down. But remember, the MacBook Air doesn't have any fans. L literally, this is all MacBook. This is all MacBook, but just minus in the Mac OS experience. So if you hate Mac OS, this is the laptop for you. I realize I work a little slower working on a Windows laptop opposed to a MacBook, and that is because of the ecosystem. There goes that word again, ecosystem. So if you have an iPhone, you have an iPad, you have even an Apple Watch, you're gonna find yourself working a little bit more efficiently on a MacBook. And even simple things as Final Cut Pro, which is only exclusive on the Mac. If I just need a solid laptop and I wasn't in the ecosystem, this is definitely up there. So yeah, there's really nothing to really hate about this. Now, unfortunately, gaming on a Snapdragon X Elite isn't ideal only because of the developers need to update their games to support this silicon. Only time will tell. The games are mostly supported on x86, not this ARM processor. So, and I even tried to launch up for Eternal, one of my favorite PS5 games, put it over to Steam, of course. Nothing comes up at all. So just keep that in mind. Your game may not support it, but simple games like Counter-Strike 2 is gonna work perfectly fine. And it's not necessarily because of the power. It's not 100% supported to run on this ARM processor being the Snapdragon X Elite. But other than that, if you wanna just do some basic tasks, typing up documents, you want the best battery life on a Windows laptop so far that I test out. Well, this is the first one. So far, I was really surprised with that though, man. The battery life is that good. It's really that good. It's MacBook level good. Now, real quick, I'm just curious. I wanna see the weight on this. So it's 2.8 pounds for the Lenovo. In terms of the MacBook Air, 2.7 pounds. So, like I said, this is the equivalent of a MacBook Air. If you hate Mac OS, but you love the design of a MacBook, the Lenovo is your best friend. But yeah, I was really surprised on the battery life, the performance, the display looking amazing. Like this really did blew me away in terms of just how far Windows laptops came. I would say it's good to be back on Windows.